Hi guys, this is Krithika. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a very exciting video. Uh, me and Sartak are going to be trying four TikTok recipes. I don't know if you guys know about it, but during quarantine especially, people were coming up with like quick, fun recipes that are like a one person or two person kind of thing. So I've tried out a couple, but I'm not gonna be showing those two today. I have four recipes that I saw on TikTok, which I wanna try, but I'm gonna try it in front of you guys and we'll see if they're actually a pass or fail. So I hope they work out because we haven't had dinner, so we're hungry. So if they work out, then we get dinner, but we'll see as the video continues. So I'm gonna go in the kitchen and we are going to get started with the first recipe. Okay, before I go in the kitchen, um, we're starting off with uh, ramen lasagna. Um, so I have all the ingredients and everything ready, but before we get started, first check out the actual recipe that was on TikTok. And now we're going to make our own version, or I mean the same thing, but like we're gonna try it out. So let's get started. Hey guys, I'm also here. Yeah, so Sarthak's gonna help make everything so I can show you guys in detail of how mm -hmm. it's done. We're going to be adding half ramen. So we actually have a full one because it's a bigger dish, but it's basically broken in half. Add the marinara sauce. I'm gonna be careful. And then and guys, this is our first time trying all this on camera, so I hope it works out well. So the cheese is right over here. We just have mozzarella cheese. You guys can use any type of cheese. Like Parmesan and yeah. all that. Go ahead and use whatever you guys like. And then we're going to put in two more or one whole packet of the top ramen. So like any noodle type, just break it in half. All right, stack that up. Put some more marinara sauce, and we just repeat the cycle. So now we have it all layered up and we're going to pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. So we're going to put this here. We're it looks legit it. like yeah. a lasagna. We'll see how it comes out. There it goes. We'll update you guys once it's ready. Alright guys, it's out of the oven and what do you guys think? It's a big fail. What is this? It's burnt. It's not even 45 minutes yet. Whatever, man. This is a fail. Okay, I'll try it out, but this is a fail, guys. No, it's not ready. Uh -huh. Is it? It's... It's crunchy. Oh, wow. Mm, I don't know. It's just raw. Mmm. No. What's oh, hot? Mm. The middle is not not bad though. But it's not, it's not cooked it, properly. Yeah, I will try the top though. Like I actually will. You definitely need some water in here. This is just not. It's not ready. It's not that bad, but. Mm. Would you have this again? I mean, you could honestly make something way better. Okay, so we're just about to start making the breakfast quesadilla. But before we get started, look at the actual recipe on TikTok. Okay, 
now we're gonna create our own version. So we're going to do one section of eggs, which we're gonna make um, avocado, tomato, and cheese. So we're going to start by making the eggs and I'll show you guys the whole process. Okay, so we have the butter in the pan. We just put it on the medium heat and here's our egg. This is two eggs. We put some salt, we put some pepper and we're just mixing it up. We're gonna put it right in here. All right guys, scrambled eggs are ready. So these are the four things we're gonna use. You guys can honestly use whatever the hell you like. So we're going to start, but to start off, you have basically make one cut halfway through, okay? We're going to put eggs on one side. If you guys are vegetarians and you don't eat egg, you guys can put whatever you want, like tofu. Um, and we're going to put some cheese on this corner. And we're gonna put tomatoes here. But we're getting a balance of everything. We're also having our veggies in here. Wow, so healthy. There we go, <laughs> um, that's good enough. Okay, and now we're gonna put our guac. Okay. So now we have all this guac laid out. So we have four sections basically. That's what this little cut does. And now we're going to carefully fold it. So you go one up. Mm -hmm. And you take it from here and you fold it this way. Oh, some eggs going down. <laughs> and then you kind of go this way and... And, -da. and then we're gonna... There we go. And now we're going to... Uh, grill it up. Grill it up. So we have some butter here. Okay, now we're going to put this Ooh. over here. Okay, guys. Our breakfast quesadilla is here. And we got it off the gas. It was a messy situation. So I was like, let me just do it in peace. But we are going to try this out. All right. A little bit of a messy situation, but. Hmm. That was a big bite. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. So this was basically what we like to add. If you guys don't like avocado, you don't have to add it. You can have whatever you want. So there's this breakfast quesadilla, which is a success. I'll let's start to try it. Let me see if I can get everything. Mmm. That is pretty yummy. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. You got like all four toppings in one bite. It's pretty good. And you thought my bites were big? No. <laughs> This is good. <laughs> it's really good. Oh yeah. For our third recipe, we are going to be making a chicken Alfredo bake. Um, it's a pasta recipe, so we're gonna start off with cutting the chicken. But before we do all of that, check out the TikTok recipe first. to create this recipe and we'll get started all right guys so we're gonna start off with the chicken um, it's not gonna be a big thing so we're just gonna use one chicken breast I'm gonna cut it up really quick and then I'll season it okay so we have onion powder we have some garlic powder we have salt and pepper but honestly if you guys have like Italian seasoning and stuff go ahead and use it this is just how you know you want to season your chicken mm -hmm. <laughs> say hi Hello. <laughs> okay, here goes in the salt. God dang. 
Okay. And this. What is this? This is the garlic onion. powder. So onion, got, no, garlic. that's onion. This okay. is garlic. Okay. I think that's good enough. And I'll just get it all in there. We have two cloves of garlic. I'm going to quickly cut it up. All right, guys. So we have some oil in the pan. We're just going to turn the gas on. Um, add the chicken in here and cook it first. Okay, it took like a couple of minutes maybe and our chicken looks like it's getting cooked up. So we're gonna add in our garlic. Okay, our garlic is in there. Okay, so now we're gonna add in our cream. Okay, and now we're going to add in chicken broth. Is it heavy for you? How much do you think we need? I think that's good. Good enough? Yeah. There we go. All right, now we have our chicken broth and our cream in here. We're going to go ahead and add our pasta. So we have pan pasta right here. Penny. Penne. Penne. Penne pasta. Penne pasta, <laughs> which we are going to now add. So now we have our pasta and everything. Okay, so now we are going to let this cook for 15 to 20 minutes and we'll come back to it. Guys, it's been 15 to 20 minutes now. We kind of kept shaking in the middle and now we just added in a little bit of cheese, literally like a handful of cheese. So not like crazy much. Y'all see that pull though? Ooh, looks so good. It smells so good. I'm hungry now. But anyways, we're gonna transfer this to a baking sheet and uh, bake it again. Dang. Oof, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna get this in the oven for 10 minutes and just um, get it, like the cheese and stuff all cooked up. So guys, instead of the other oven, I put the pasta in here on broil, not bake, for five minutes and that oven was taking forever, so I put it in this one. It's quicker and our pasta is complete. Look at that cheese! So good. It's so good. Is it hot? Kinda. Mmm. That's good. Try the chicken. That's better than any Alfredo sauce mm -hmm. that I have like. Try chicken. Mmm. That is so. I don't know. It's so good. Mm. So. For our last recipe, we want to show you how to make a cinnamon roll in a mug. So it's a small mini dessert we're going to make after eating all that food. So, it, so watch how we make it and we'll see if it's a success or not. If it is, it'll be a nice dessert to end our day. All right guys, so we need half a cup of plain flour for this. Next, we need two tablespoons, tablespoons of sugar. All right, we need a fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, a fourth, this baking powder. Okay, and if you guys want, you can obviously, you can use more extract if you want. I don't like it too much, it's just too strong. We need three tablespoons of milk. Three. And we need some butter, which I have melted up. This is about one and a half tablespoons. And this is unsalted butter. 
So we are going to just mix it up now. And we have to flatten it out, kind of like a dough. So guys, what I have here is one and a half teaspoon of cinnamon, one and a half, or actually I put one tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of brown sugar. And I'm just mixing it up. So this is the actual filling that's gonna go. This is not a stiff dough. We have to kind of flatten it out and then we have to put the stuffing in it. Mm. It's very sticky. Uh, let's see if I can get some. We managed to put enough flour on it and get it flattened out. It's very sticky, so you will need like a good amount. And now that filling we made, we're just gonna put it all over here. All right. Now we have to figure out how to fold it, okay? I'm going to try because I learned Should this. I do it? Let me try, and if I don't get it, then you help me. Okay. Okay, now, now try to get, take it out from this mm -hmm. end. Do it from this end so that uh, you can like, because that one's our... No, 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 you're missing the bottom. <laughs> Look what happened. <laughs> Literally. Hey guys, we put it in straight, right? But it's not got like structural integrity or whatever. <laughs> and so it like literally just started folding. <laughs> okay, gotta microwave this for one minute and 30 seconds. We're going to get the glaze ready. So you need one and a half tablespoons of powdered sugar. Okay, and a splash of milk. Splash. Should be enough. Let's see. Oh, look at it all go. There we go. And that's ready and too. And our cinnamon roll is ready and our glaze is ready. Guys, look at it. It actually looks kind of neat. It doesn't look so much like a cinnamon yeah. roll, but hey, it looks good. Cool. But honestly, it smells pretty good. Mm-hmm. So, our glaze. Oh, fancy. Oh my God, I'm so excited. What do you think? Mm. Hot. <laughs> oh my god. That's good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I could eat this whole thing. Mm. That's pretty good, isn't it? That is pretty good. I don't know. I wasn't expecting mm. this. That's really good. It's cooked evenly too. Wow, that is good. Hey guys, so you guys saw all the four recipes that we created. Mm. But we really had a good time filming this, guys. And we got to eat, so it was a really nice and fun vlog to make. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And don't forget to hit the bell notification for future updates. And stay safe. Sarthak's hand is hurting, so I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to end this video right here. I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys. Bye guys. Peace.